Hey everyone, my name is Melanie Smith and I'm a Pavarotti independent consultant. I'm so excited to do my first ever YouTube video. I'm actually extremely nervous. I'm not ever nervous on my live sales, but I feel super nervous to do a YouTube video. However, I'm excited to finally get it kicked off and I thought what a better way than just kind of doing a little tour of my paparazzi room. I thought it would be great for future consultants that want to join my team or maybe you're already a consultant and just need some tips or possibly my customers might like a behind the scenes look at where I work every day and this awesome company that I get to be a part of just working from home. I'm super blessed to be able to have a paparazzi room. It's a very limited space. However, I hope that this video helps someone with limited space or just some display ideas. Whatever it might be, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me. I would be more than happy to tell you about any of my displays or my organization tips or my lives, anything you need help with, just contact me. Thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully this will not be my last YouTube video. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, here we go with a little tour of my room. It's not very large, as I said, but it works for what I need and I make it work. I use every space that I have. First, we'll start off at the door. As you see, I have a shoe organizer here and I put customers' names on the outside. And as they buy, I will put it in their individual basket. It is, makes it super quick. That way I can just go back and count their pieces or whatever I need to do to be able to invoice them. And it just stays there until I ship out. I have another one hung on the wall. It is a different style shoe organizer, but it also works great. I didn't have another door, so I had to make use of every space in here by hanging it on the wall. Next we have my mannequin. She moves all around the room. This is where she is right now. And I usually use her to display the Z pieces. Sometimes I'll display some of the necklaces on there. It is very useful, I think, and it helps sell pieces great. So let me just move that really quick so I can show you the boards. Okay, next we have our two boards. There's actually a window behind these boards, so I couldn't really use that wall, but now that I have these on their stands, I have plenty of room to use for my jewelry. So it's just two clothes racks with the pegboard on it. And this is how all my jewelry is displayed. Or what I can get up on there. Not all of it's on there. I'll show the rest of that in a second. And then I have just some party streamers as my background. And this that I made, it is obviously in reverse on this video, but on my lives it shows up correctly. Then over here, not too glamorous, but like I said, I had to make use of all the space. This is my packaging materials, different size bubble mailers. And then, of course, we have to kind of decorate it and spice it up a little bit. And we come over to the office space, just my security cameras and my filing system, printer, scale, clock, all that good stuff. Laptop here. And a little more decoration on the walls. Just to, I spend a lot of time in here, so I kind of personalize it some. And then we also have this hung on the wall. On these twirl ties, I keep short necklaces, my overflow that I can't fit on the boards, and they hold a lot. So I have some hanging on those hooks, which works great. And then, I'll go over this in just a second, but this is here was where I do my lives. 
my phone goes in this little holder. It's clipped to the bookcase and it does have a light as well, which is great. And so kind of when I do lives, this basket is used for stuff that I want to make sure and show during the live. That's not necklaces or maybe new stuff, whatever it might be, all kinds of good stuff. And then once I show those items in the basket, I'll move it down to the second layer. That way I know I've already shown it. And also here we have, we just have some overflow, overstock items that I have a lot of. Most of these are the seed beads. And then anything I might need during my live, my magnifier to zoom in, my some games, necklace displays. And then on the next shelf, I have my numbers here and all my little clips in case I need to clip on the number bags to bag the necklaces as I go. Strips of paper to write down all the shares and they go on my bucket. And then I have, of course, index cards handy to create baskets for customers. Then we have our ring display. See, all this is, this is a small room, so everything is in, within reach. I do stand when I'm doing my lives. So then we have our double wraps here and our jewelry repair kit, then some overflow inventory here, just bracelets, earrings, and some wraps. And here we have all the kids. Then I have my bags hung on the side of the desk. Like I said, a very small office. I can reach from side to side, but I try to make use of every space. More packaging materials stored at the bottom. I hope this video helps some of you in some little way, just with your displays or with ideas in limited space, whatever it might be. It might not be super special to some, but I am over the moon about my room, and I'm just so excited to share it with you all. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to contact me, and I am so grateful you took the time to watch this video.